everybody, Len Hargrave from Len Hargrave Fishing. Let's go. My name is Len Hargrave. I'm a BFL co-angler through the Shenandoah Division and I fish local regional uh, club tournaments here in South Central Pennsylvania. I started fishing uh, when I was a little kid. Um, grew up trout fishing in streams behind my house in Northeast PA. and. It just kind of took off from there. Fishing allows me to compete at a high level against good people and build relationships. And on the flip side of the fishing is the marketing. Um, being able to work with different companies from all over the country, from all different aspects of the, uh, the industry, and be able to work with them and help them sell products is amazing to me. I do not do this full time at this, at this time. Um, I'm working towards that in the future and if I get there great and if I don't then I want to help as many people along the way and just keep hitting goals um, along the way. About four years ago my friend Steve Clutter who you'll see in a bunch of the videos uh, we were all out to dinner and he was talking about wanting to do something and kind of get away from uh, southern Pennsylvania for a little while um, for his birthday and I suggested why don't we go uh, north up to my parents lake and we'll take a weekend and just go fishing. Um, it had been a few years since I had gone fishing or at least serious like bass fishing um, probably since about high school or so and that weekend we drove up and all my fishing stuff was up at the lake and we jumped in a canoe and went out on the lake and, and we, we caught a whole lot of fish that week as um, including probably like a six and a half close to seven pounder and from that point I was hooked again and Steve was a big catfish guy and I told him that we had a lot of channel cats up in the lake we we could catch catfish at night and ever since that weekend he was even stuck on bass fishing from that point forward and that's kind of where everything reunited and took off again from there um, and I'm so happy that it did. From there, uh, Steve's uncle had a old like Sears catalog uh, aluminum canoe leaning against the tree. It was like an 18 foot canoe. And he said, if you want to register and take it out, you can. So we loaded up my pickup truck and we spent an entire year, a little over a year, fishing uh, Lake Williams out of a canoe, like every chance we got. As many nights as we could after work, we were out on this canoe just fishing. And we'd roll up on guys in these big bass boats and we would just hold our own with them. And once I started seeing that my skill level was growing and my knowledge was growing, from, um, we searched for months to try to find the right boat for what we were trying to accomplish. And we ended up finding the right boat for it, which was a 1988 glass stream boat. It's 15 and a half feet or 16 feet. Um, and it was gutted. It was basically just a floating piece of fiberglass. From there, um, we started fishing a lot of the local stuff. Uh, we did about a year or like six months. Um, the fall, we fished out of the uh, out of the boat the way it was, and then that spring, we met up with the. Tuesday Night Lunkers up at Giver Pencha and we started fishing some like just Lunker tournaments and, uh, and we won some money or I won some money that summer enough money to put a new deck on the boat um, we put trolling motors and electronics on it and it just started to grow from there As far as tournament fishing, uh, later that summer we fished our first Bring a Friend tournament, which was at Gifford Pinchot. Um, and we also fished one at uh, Redmond that year. 
and we didn't catch a fish at Pincho, and then we actually caught a fish at Redmond, and we were just hooked on it. It was so hard. Everyone was so good, but we were learning, and we were having fun, and we just kept on growing from there. Through the Tuesday Night Lunkers, I met with uh, Rob Binyak, who I travel with with the BFLs. Um, we fish some team stuff together, and that just making that relationship was great because Rob's an amazing fisherman, and he's fishing the BFLs on the pro side, so that kind of linked me together and gave me the confidence fishing along with him that, hey, I can travel and I can try to make this happen and fish the BFLs and not have to pay everything up front. We can kind of split the bills on uh, different campsites and get up practice days. And it really took off from there. So we fished our first BFL last year, um, him as his boater, and then I fished as a co-angler to see what it was all about. We decided to go full-time this year in 2018 in the BFL Shenandoah Division. My goal is to make it to the All-American and just keep growing and growing from there. And On my YouTube channel, I plan on having a bunch of different stuff. I'm going to do different product reviews. I plan on doing uh, NetBait. They have been with me since day one. They were my first sponsor ever. And I owe everything to them with all the support that they have shown me. Um, so I plan on doing a video stream of every bait that they uh, produce of how I use it, what colors they have, and really just how to utilize net bait products in ways that people may not have thought about using them. They're great products and I plan on, on doing that as well as some other sponsorship videos for um, High Seas Fishing Line, different ways that I use their line, uh, deluxe etching, different products that they make that you can get for your day-to-day -day life. and. Uh, Savage Gear Lures, I use their frogs exclusively, as well as some different things that Savage Gear makes, and Akuma Rods and Reels. Um, I've been with Akuma now for two years, and I absolutely love using their equipment. Another aspect of my page that I want to do is it's going to be weekly vlogs. Um, just kind of in the life of what it's like to be a co-angler and a club tournament fisherman um, throughout the summer. I, like I said, I have a full-time job. I work 40 hours a week. Um, I'm married and it's tough to balance everything but I try to get to the lake once a week um, at least once a full day on the weekends and try to get af out after work during the summer there's uh, different lunker tournaments and things I do at the local lakes and I plan on videotaping those I plan on making videos and building my my following and building relationships with people through my YouTube page and my other social media outlets um, and just do weekly vlogs of traveling and fishing tournaments and weigh-ins and just the whole, everything that's going on in South Central Pennsylvania and beyond um, as the Shenandoah Division will take me all the way down to Kerr Lake and Smith Mountain, uh, the James River, just all over the place. So I plan on doing different vlogs and things and uh, hopefully it can keep people interested and it can help somebody because in, in the long run all I really want to do is just help people catch more fish and just build relationships within the industry. So I invite you to subscribe to my page and follow my videos. Hopefully I can do a good job with the videos and educating people and just helping build a fishing culture here in Southern Pennsylvania and beyond. Um, feel free to join my Instagram page at LenFish42. Jump over to my Facebook page at Len Hargrave Fishing on Facebook. They're all public pages and the goal of all these pages is to help people catch fish where I fish. and and meet with people and just grow as a community in the fishing industry so please subscribe on the video for me jump over to my social media pages give me your feedback i would love to know what you guys think in my videos and i would love just to continue to grow in marketing and editing and obviously the fishing side of things and um let's go have some fun